Is it cold there in the dark? I know it must be, but you have been there so long, you may not remember the glow of warmth on your skin. Do you see light? As a child, I would turn to the yellow ring around my shut bedroom door, taking comfort in the warmth creeping through. It must be dark and cold in there, I know. I know it is. And fear, of course. How you are afraid. Fear of being different, of change. You have been rooted to the spot by the knowledge that all the stories you grew up with were not for you. You craved other stories that you could not find. So instead you shut it down, I know. And even when the wind howled outside, heralding a time for change, you jammed your fingers into the crevices, holding the door against a weather storm bent on new beginnings. Listen, you are right, you are different. There, it is said you can stop being afraid. The words have flown out and exist outside of your rattling brain. I can see the outline of your nose pressed hard against the door. Does life smell wonderful out here? Away from the stagnant shame you have sat in for years. Difference is all there is. There is no normal, it is a myth. The world of fear and fire and endings in your brain isn't the world out here. I am talking to you so close, I am leaning against the door so you can catch every syllable of what I'm saying. It is better out here. Believe me, I know, I know you tremble at the name Matthew Shepard. The darkest fear cuts through you when you read of parents intimidating teachers outside a school in Birmingham screaming that their children should grow up not knowing a world of diversity, love and hope. You're right. There is darkness and unhappiness here, darker than perhaps than even you pictured squashed into your protective coffin. But for every Matthew tortured and murdered, there is his mother, Judy, who led the charge in the name of her son to force the law, the world, to change. For every group of hateful parents, there was Sarah Hewitt Clarkson, headmistress who refused point blank to allow the hate, dug her bloodied heels in, supported by so many letters and cards, she said, they would not fit in one room. And she won. That's important too. I cannot promise you always happiness, that you will never encounter ignorance and hate, stupidity and vice, but I... Promise you will find those who fight back. Prize justice. Refuse to let the bastards win. I promise you will have nights of dancing, friends, lovers, days filled with laughter and kindness. It is better out here. I know it. I see your silhouette against the door. Are you listening? Doors have always been symbols of truth emerging, but while the ancient plays always use them to signify the end, this door is a beginning. Truth will out, as they say. How beautiful it feels to be free. Out here there is joy and sorrow of such depth you could never fathom in the safe, numb, dark. I can hear the pulse in your fingertips as they rest against the shuttered door slats. Lift them. Push. There is life out here. Real, wild, wretched, brilliant life. Open the door. <laughs> 